All right, YouTube. Today we're going to play Josh R. Layton's Blue Black Shadow Deck from the Pro Tour. I played a little bit with it. I, I was going to stream it yesterday, but work just got in the way. I played it a little bit and um, got a feel for it. And I went 3-2 and two in a league, but I punted the two matchups. So I lost to, like, Black Red Reanimator and Iron Storm. And I feel like I should have game against those. So... So we're going to get this out. I don't, I don't really have too, too much to say about the deck as I don't play it a little bit. Oh, I also went to play a little bit today and it did not go well. It's multitasking earlier and got smoked. But we're going to give it a whirl now. I should have 5-0'd my first league that I played with this deck, I think. But, like, obviously the matchups would have changed, so it's <clears throat> a little more difficult to say that, I guess. But I felt like I had... The, I felt like the matches that I played in were very winnable. Yeah, this deck seems pretty sweet. Like, I think I tend to lose a lot to, like, just not knowing what's going on. It's not quite Raptor's List because I needed to budget the lands for what I had on Moto. But besides that, it, it's, it's his list. So I guess, like, maybe I was being a little wrong. <clears throat> I always forget how long it takes for these Legacy Leagues to, to fire. All right. All right. I won the die roll, which is sweet. I would like to play first. And I will keep this hand. I think I'm going to start off by cycling true. I don't think there's a lot of – there's a lot of point – or there's a, there's a big reason to hold your street race – in this deck, because like you don't have serum visions to work with them. All right, we hit a brainstorm, so we can play a shadow on two next turn, which is pretty sweet. So what are we looking for? Probably one, two, three, four. So we actually probably want to stack this like this. I would assume the worst spell for us to hit would be the Fatal Push. <clears throat> How's it going this morning, Teddy? So let's play this land. We're probably just shuffling away. Oh, so we're playing against, like, a grindy deck. Two Liliana the Veils is not great. But we might be able to get out in front of them. Because like if I play a threat now, brainstorm or ponder next turn, and then try to find another threat. Because I kind of just want to take the Bob. It sucks that there's two Lilianas. I do have a Fatal Push on top of my deck. So I could just take a Liliana. But then I have to wait... Yeah, I'm just going to take Bob, play Shadow. It's ready to work. On the bright side, that Fatal Push is going to be great. I actually don't think it is because um, it throws our turn off so much that we just get got by these Lilianas. Like, if I had if I had a Street Wraith and could cast it this turn, then I would. But I can't do any... Like, it puts me behind where I can only play one threat a turn. And, like, it's going to make these Lilianas more potent, I think. So I kind of just want to try to get on the board and get ahead.
that's a good way to do it. So we'll put these back. Waste the white land. Crack in. <clears throat> and then play Gurmag Angler. <coughs> If I could have played Fatal Push that turn, it would have been sweet. But I, I guess I didn't really I didn't really think about what I was playing. It doesn't matter. So we're going to play Snapcaster Mage. I thought the Fatal Push would be worse than the Gurmag Angler or the other card. Such a wholesome magic card. All right, so we are going to get Liliana. Even though we, made it, we did our best to avoid that. Uh, let's take this one. We gotta find a counter spell or something here. So I could put back Wasteland, Bloodstain Mire, Cycle Street Race, use the Ponder to shuffle. Because we know their hand. So I think I could just put both of these back actually. And then use the ponder to shuffle. Maybe? Now I don't want a shadow. I want this shadow. I guess I'll just get the land again. We have another Brainstorm. So I'm going to start by just attacking this thing. So now I have the option to just play another Death Shadow, but it gets Edicted. So let's just waste them. <coughs> Oh, all my Google alerts just came up. <clears throat> yeah, but that doesn't get me anywhere, right? I mean, that Life from the Loam was a pretty nice draw. Because, like, they just edict another one. So, let's, so I probably want to fetch before I brainstorm. The bottom card is dead. If my bottom card is dead... But my card underneath here is dead. So I probably want to fetch. Oh, this turn. Yeah, sure. I just got to figure out if I want to look under two cards and still be able to fetch away. The problem is I want all of these. So I think I'm just going to give myself the opportunity to look at one more card. Let's just put both of these back. Attack my opponent. Put them to 10. They play Liliana, Edict Me. And like my next card has to be really good. I guess I can also. But no, the, the Wastelands don't matter. Where are the days? Days would have been sweet, but they, they would have been able to get me through days with the lands in their hand. I guess we just put like maximum pressure on them. I guess we can just do this. They're both lethal next turn. Oh, I've already played. I haven't played a land yet. Nice. At least I'll be able to slow them down a little bit. No, I did play land. Losing my mind. We know our top card's a force, which is useless because we don't have a blue card and there's a Gaddick Teague in play. So 
So we need a fatal push. <clears throat> yeah, I would assume so. Fatal push. That's not bad. Because they have to jump with this, and then we can actually force their next play. I could have brainstormed looking. I probably should have done that. Now they're going to find this. Well, now I think I've probably got to just... Yeah, see, now I messed up. This is just me not knowing. I could have played my wasteland and dealt with this. All right, now we're going to try to fix... We're going to try to hit something here to kill... That's not bad, actually. Well, it's still pretty bad. Yeah, can see, I could have had at least the Teague off the board, but now we're going to be able to daze their next play because they're, they're going to block with this. And then I'll wasteland. They block here, wasteland them, <coughs> daze their play. And, like, we're still not in a very good spot, but... You can kind of harass them. <clears throat> they tick up. We ditch this. They ditch a land. There's a scrub land. I probably should have returned to land so that if I drop brainstorm in the future, it's better. So now, neither of us is anything, basically. Because they're going to use this Liliana to eat it. I did, right? Or did I not do that? Legacy Shadow, update information. <coughs> the problem is my next card's a dud too, I think. God, have nothing. Okay, they're just loaning. We can deal with that. Oh, they loan back Dryad Arbor, which is sweet. They loan back the clock. That Liliana probably seals it. Your other card is underground. Oh, to fetch it away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. I was thinking about keeping cards in hand for a brainstorm when realizing that I could shuffle away my next my next draw. Yep. Those are like the little little things that I just am not used to and takes me a while to like retrain myself. So this has got to be good. The thrones have to be decent. They play chalice. Spell bomb. I have like a million cards that I want to bring in, but I don't know if I should. Cards that don't seem good. Force probably doesn't seem great. Snuff out's decent. The hem doesn't seem great because they're just going to have a lot of lands, so I probably don't want the hem. <clears throat> I played against. I played against this deck. At SCG Baltimore last year, and I was just thoroughly confused by this deck. I kind of want my days on the play, even though I could be talking to them not being that great. Engine Explosives, I actually don't think does anything. It does blow up Chalice. Like, these three cards deal with Chalice. Edict, Last Hope, Nile Spell Bomb. Maybe I don't need this Edict. Like, maybe, oh, they have Knight of the Reliquary. Uh, if we're going to play a slower game, we got some Street Race. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I guess Stubborn Denial is kind of weak. Let me try this. <laughs> I 
It's too good. I've actually never seen this card in play. Actually, I've seen some of the hardened scales affinity decks play this card. <clears throat> uh, we'll keep this. Let's go Ponderosa. I kind of just want to keep this because of the flooded, the uh, fatal push. Oh. Forgot to turn that volume down. Nice. Thank you there. And Lee, I appreciate the follow. I kind of just want to keep this for the push. I can brainstorm some stuff away next turn. Like, I'm going to have too many lands probably. I guess I actually brainstorm now. My card underneath is a land. Then we're gonna look at two new cards. Looking for like a thought seize probably would be good. All right, or we can get nasty. Just hope we don't get chaliced. If we get chaliced, I guess it's not like the end of the world. <clears throat> it is kind of the end of the world if we get chaliced. Please be a Bob. Tilt. Okay. So we actually waste them to keep them off Liliana and then play Gurmag Angler. Yeah, but like E for zero deals with Chalice, right? <clears throat> Maze of Ith. Did you fetch them? I'm not sure there, Neil. I'm not super up on that. So, do I just like try to ultimate this thing? Or do I dig to I have three outs to this card. No matter, I'm going up first. But I guess the question is, what do I do next turn? No, shoot. Shoot. I just hit the F6 button. Waking up still. What is this? That was like a cycle triangle ticket? Yeah. Still waking up. We're starting the stream. The ult would be much easier had I not F6 there. All right, let's attack. So we can bring back a Street Rage, which is kind of sweet. Actually, no, because it gets Chalice. Never mind. I was thinking to myself, like, oh, I'm just going to let my... I'm actually going to play... I'll play out my next land. I was like, I'm just gonna let my shadow get countered and then reanimate it. And I was like, that doesn't actually work. Nox Diamond. We saw Loman, no wasteland. Four mana was like a Gideon. That would suck so much if this is a Gideon. Vindicate. Alright, we're in a lot of trouble. I'll play my fetch next time, like when I have another land, I think. Or if I'm going to discard. Because I'm not cracking it now. Like It's not like I can play Street Wraith or anything like that. I don't think he plays him. If this deck plays him, then I'm probably wrong to not do that. But I think besides that, it's good to do. <clears throat> or at least marginal. Like, all right. Double Bob. So we have a way to win. I 
Our way to win includes Bob doing it for us. Though they don't play like anything expensive in their deck. All right. We took three. Yeah, we're we're good. We are good. That seems like an atrocious matchup. Like, this deck seems like it will just grind us into the dust. <clears throat> Whoa. That was... That was one-sided, to say the least. The beating. I've only played against that deck one other time, and it felt very similar to that. And that I won game one. I got, like, the Delver draw in game, in game one, and then they just, like, just put me into the dust in game two. The no land heater. So if Wasteland's good. How much wait, what percent of the format is Wasteland good against? Whatever. It's a spell. Hopefully. Don't play a basic. You played a basic. Oh my god, Wasteland's awful. I should have forced that, because none of my other cards are going to do anything. Definitely should have forced that, I think. I didn't think about it at first, but just like none of my other cards are going to do anything, if, like with this in play. All right, we get to waste that. Flip it. No. No flip. So do we play the scry game with Delver or do we just waste them? Probably play the scry game. Then my opponent wants to trade their mom for my Delver. That's cool. <clears throat> there we go. This is not good. Wonder if he wait I wonder if he ports my polluted delta in response to my Delver trigger. It seems kinda loose, but No. Shuffle, let's go get watery grave. We're going to let this go. Now we waste the port. We get the Thought Season, which is nice. It can at least give us a little bit of information. Start working towards Gurmag Angler, too, which is nice. Oh, wow. So their hand's awful. I probably could have attacked. No, I couldn't have. I probably could have. No, it's dumb attacking before I Thought Seize. Yeah, we're closer to Angler, which isn't nothing. We have three Dreadonites in our sideboard for this deck, so we should be packing some pretty serious hate. The fact they didn't play their canopy probably means they hit something here. Probably hit like a two drop.
This goes against Flicker Wisp. We could waste ourselves and play Angler this turn. We could. So let's see what they get. Oh, they still have a... They still have a whatever it is in their hand. Another flicker wish. So they're just going to start chaining these sons of bitches off. Street Wraith. No, so that still lets us play Gurmag Angler. This is another, it seems like a pretty tough matchup in game one. Like, after sideboard, it does seem to get a little better. But it does not seem pleasant to start. Especially now that they've said, like, Flicker West, let's recruit the guard loop. What does this do? They should just like. They should just flicker this, go get Thalia, I think. How you doing, Schultz? And I guess we just force this. And we daze this because we can. I think it was just better for them to file in the Flicker Wisp and then go get Thalia with, like, Thalia, with Flicker Wisp because Caracas is kind of like what you want to do. Well, not Flicker Wisp, Thalia plus Caracas. Come on, one time. Oh Alright, let's get in here with Gurmag Angler. I think I'm just like super dead. Um, I don't really see a way out of this. If we're going to be like completely above the rim here. But let's keep scrapping. We do, there's a lot in the sideboard for this. I guess Flicker Wisp is just like that good against Delver where it doesn't really matter. Let's go to game two and board in three Dreaded Knights. That sounds that sounds okay. That sounds fine to me. Well, I just got hit with like a huge wave of tired. I have to like go get some coffee. So this has got to be decent. These are decent. These are great. These are great. I saw Josh board in these hymns against the deck also. I don't really think I want Diabolic Edict. But we probably definitely don't want our forces. Stubborn Denial doesn't seem great. It does counter plow. I kind of want to keep all my street race in because they gave us a bunch of life. I could hedge and like, well, now they kept. I saw he had Gurmag Angler in there. I could cut my reanimates because they might have graveyard hate. You think Days is poor even when we're on the play? I can see cutting these and maybe even bringing this in.
Let's try this. Let's give this a whirl. So we have 18 lands in our deck. All right, we'll keep this. They mulligan two. And we'll just play this flooded strand. This isn't exactly Raptor's list because I played, uh, my, my lands are a little different. All right, let's find something to do. Though I kind of want all my cards, which means I shouldn't have played that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to pass. I kind of want all these cards. If they if he plays a Thalia, then I can brainstorm and look for something. I might as well brainstorm now, I guess, before I lose all of my fetch lands. Jeez. I right, probably don't need the second one of these. Might not even need this brainstorm to be honest. Like, just fetch this brainstorm away. Have two shadows. I'm gonna get there eventually. Then just land this Liliana. I definitely could have, I guess, shuffled away one shadow because, like. Playing two Death Shadows against this deck is never great. So that's like food for thought, I guess. <clears throat> well, it is and it isn't, right? Like, they actually have good ways to get rid of it. They got like a couple Council's Judgments. And like... I guess how many other cards they can only play like Sanctum Prelate, Prelet and Jeez. I think it's going to be tough to beat. And I have to like be cute with this Ether Vial, I guess. Angler, Angler, Street Wraith. I can just play Shadow Sh Shadow Angler, but that's like a little bit scary. I kind of just want to give myself the opportunity to to get them, and I think I'm actually going to shuffle these. I don't think these are what I'm looking for. Though if I one of my shadows gets plowed, then I'm not good. But if I like keep all of these, then I'm stuck with them. Yeah, I think I'm just going to mulligan or not mulligan, shuffle this. we we'll just pass, see if I can, like, I didn't do anything end of turn, so maybe he just doesn't have anything. Okay, that's a, that's a relief. path. No, I would not like to say. It's better than getting plowed, I guess. I mean, even another one. Alright. So, Recruiter into Thalia. 
Phyrexian Revoker. Okay. That works as well. My poor Liliana. Fatal Push here would be sweet. For sure. Don't need any more lands. All my shocks are already fetched too. This has been a tough, this has been a beating. I guess I could have played a land to threaten a block, but if he attacks me, then that's like whatever. Dark Knight. Jeez. I guess we just hit this port. Just a mess with them. We only have one cavern in our deck, and at least this does something. I'm not going to mulligan just two Dread of Night. Like, that seems very poor in, like, a super resource-based matchup. He's probably got enough ways to answer it. You think Bitter Blossom is good? I, I, I want to try something. It might be. I want to try something today where we just sidestep it. You know? Where, like, we just try to go, like, don't try to match up with Blue-White. Just try to go around it. That's what I'm going to give a whirl to today. Five mana, just batter skull the honest way. Maybe. Maybe that's the right thing to do then. I don't think casting this really accomplishes anything. I think finding a way to get this off the board accomplishes me a lot. That does not. I guess we might as well just... Do we know what their last card is? We don't. So hopefully it's not like a Flicker Wisp. But if it, it's good to get it if it's a Flicker Wisp because we likely can just die. Let's keep this in hand. Ooh, I should have played a land, because now I can just move the batter skull over, and then I don't have to block. But then I basically have to block the next turn. I definitely made a mistake here. Stoneforge Mystic. This goes against Jit. That's gonna be tough to beat. Thought sees block, take four, go to one. I mean, we might as well get this jet off the battlefield. We're still like not fixing the long term plan, but I definitely think Kira is one of our better options, if not our best option. Jeez, this goes gets Flicker Wisp, clears the way, and kills me. Yeah. I could make them do it, but whatever. We're getting worked. If we get our butts kicked quick, we'll jump into another league. I should go, I should find my computer glasses also before my eyes get sore and I stop. Jump out on it ahead early. All right, this hand looks pretty solid. This is, nope, don't F6. I always forget that I can't F6 here. Blue Delta, we're playing like a mirror. Probably not, okay. We'll be able to figure out what it is next turn.
I don't really want to waste him. I think I would like to just thought seize and see what's up. Okay. So we can't really stop. We can't stifle their mana. They're probably going to take my ponder with their force, their thought seizes. I'm going to get rid of one of their thought seizes. I assume they take my, my uh, ponder unless they can just get me right now. Then they might take the force or like maybe get me next turn. Huh. So that must mean they're pretty close to going off. At least that's what I think. So how fast is a kill of this? Play Shadow, next turn, Cycle Street Wraith go to 10, Reanimation Street go to 5, Wasteland. They're basically just a payoff spell off killing me, and they kept on top top. This is at least, this makes it so I've got draw, draw, draw. I've got two spell... Two turns of not doing anything. Two turns of not interacting. But I get to do next turn, play my shadow, reanimate, go to five, crack for eight, play land, go for eight. So this is a two, they get two draw steps, basically. None of my dazes are any good. None of my stife, none of my... Spell, none of my days are any good. My forces are any good. I think this is better than, just the fact that we can kill them so fast, I think that this is what I want. Is it is it right to do if I want to play Shadow this turn? I guess with... Street Wraith in my deck, it, it's a little better to not do it like that. Because, like, if I just played my Shock Land, then I wouldn't be able to play Shadow, right? I guess I don't even need to cycle my Street Wraith, right? Because this is three, six, five. Well, it's just three player shadow, so then they go to 14. And then we can just cycle it next turn and kill them. And this might keep up appearances. Three play another one, cycle go to eight, reanimate, kill them next turn. So yeah, let's just like keep up appearances. So you ponder to like snuff out thought seize and land. You'd want to take thought seize there. And probably cast it. But I could do that with the ponder, right? It's not thought thoughts and a land. You're saying draw the land. Mostly that you're cutting off filtering. Cut off the filtering angle of the fetch. Okay, that makes sense. That does make sense. But what if I get pinned and I can't play my death shadow though? Like that, I guess that's what we're what we're worried about. We're not going to do anything because we know our top card is another Death Shadow. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. It's all the risk reward, right? Because like, if that would have fallen through, because I, I, if that would have fallen through, then do I? Is does it work? You know, do I get out of it? All right, what do we got? We got go time for our opponent.
your cast ponder before doing anything. Okay, so like what happens if I ponder into good cards though? That's the risk reward, right? If I ponder into good cards that make me not want to fetch, it's like versus the interaction versus like the guaranteed clock, you know? Do we got a bunch of goblins here? That's just the argument, right? I mean, what, like, I'm not saying, like, you're wrong, the delicious waffles. That's just, like, what we're worrying about, right? With my line of, like, your line of play, does this kill me? Yeah, on the dot. Okay. It varies. Yeah. Yeah. Not going to make my opponent go through this here. I guess, like, I don't exactly know, like, how all of this works. You like pondering before fetching. Okay. So these have to be good. And this has to be good. I'm not exactly sure how good. Like, the surgicals are probably better than the fatal push than this. So, like, excuse me. But I know that surgical isn't that great against Tez all the time. So I think I'm just going to sideboard like this. The reanimates might be too cute. Are the surgicals better than reanimates? In game one, you have a density of bad cards that you are likely to hit. There's only one card. So like the only other cards that I want to cut would be these. And it's like, are these better than these? You could make an argument that Gurmag Angler's slow, and maybe I should cut the Gurmag Anglers instead of the Reanimates. Good, unless if you're worried about Xantid. Reanimates basically just like something that's a clock. You think surgical? So like I could just go like this and this, and then that's 60. Gurmag is a little... It's not like you're turboing out Gurmag Angler like the modern version of the deck does. I'm going to try this. You're like taking out days on the draw. I guess especially if we get to crack a surgical off and see if they have like... um, Whatever it is. Xantid Swarms in. Seems actually pretty good because we have the explosives, right? Like, it's not that good, but we do have explosives. We can daze something on turn one. Don't take combo. Okay. I think Spellbomb plays over Reanimate. Okay. Because I, I know this Tez deck doesn't really... Um, I'll, I'll turn it really... So, hang on. Let me get back to this. So this hand might be just too slow, and I might have to mulligan, though. Because, like, these two cards are kind of dead. Duds, and they're not going to be very good. It's not really true. Okay. Like, these might not be good enough. Even though we get to go, like, fetch shock, 17, pick up, 15. I, I think this hand's actually not very good. Even though the explosives is, like, a really good card against this deck, I think we just want more interaction. Yeah, I think I've got a mulligan again. Unfortunately. This is the best hand we've seen. We can just, we can just put this on top. It's not going to matter. What thought sees them. It's a very good four card hand. I'm just going to kept my second hand. Okay, so I have double thought seize, dark ritual, right of flame. So I probably just take burning wish out of this hand because it's all just mana.
Hey, past turn there is probably fine. To draw the Delver, you mean? And then we have a Delver plus another blue card. Yeah, I am. Okay, Thoughtseize you, they take Delver, you untap, go Delver plus Thoughtseize. Okay. I'm just worried about them going off on one, right? I mean, isn't that, like, we're playing Tez, right? And Tez is the more aggressive version of the deck, or not the more aggressive, that's the wrong way to put it. It's the version of the deck that uh, is faster, right? So that's what I was just nervous about. All right, do we want this days? I don't think I want. I think I don't think I want the days. It's not going to counter anything. So we'll shuffle the days away. That probe. They don't go off turn one as much. Okay. That's just something I don't know. From like, you know, I don't play too too much legacy. So we can actually hit their thought seeds, which is kind of interesting, but might be actually hitting the burning wish is the best thing to do, right? Yeah, I don't know. They, I, I think they play main deck goblins. I would like to continue the day's conversation. Good test plans can wait and flip the counters. Like, I think I want to surgical these Burning Witches. I don't know enough about this deck. I don't really care about surgicaling the Thought Seizes because we're just playing off the top. I think just taking these Burning Witches is, is more productive. It means it just has less out, outs, I mean. Because we know their hand, and it's not very good. They don't know about this Bloodstained Mire as well. So if we do get them to cast this... You generally dislike draw step surgical. Now, does that matter against? Does that matter against Ant, or does that matter just against Tez? Because I don't know the difference there. Play zero drills. Because against Ant, I wouldn't do it. I don't think. But against like Tendril, against against Ant, okay. So against the ad nauseum version, I think you. I think it's good to wait until they start going off. But if this deck doesn't use the graveyard as much, right? I hate how you can't see this on Modo. So what do they got? Let's see what they got. We my opponent can just take their turn, whatever. So they have three empties, three tutors. That's kind of all I got for action. They don't have Xanted Swarm, so that's important. They have an Adnaz. We've probably kind of shut off the Adnaz line. They, I'm surprised they thought seized us. Especially when they probably could have gone to rest first. They played their island. Kind of both. It depends on the game state. But a lot of the time, surgical is just two life. Plus one sword for them. The secret best surgical is the one you don't cast because having it in hand cuts them off lines. Okay, that makes sense. So now I don't fetch first because we can do something with our other mana. I should have attacked. This is like slightly poor. So now I can actually take this Thought Seize and probably take this LED, right? Because that gets nice so they can't put any... They can get rid of the cards in their hand. And, like, at least their tutors aren't turned on. But I guess they can just cast all their cards anyways. At this point, I don't really want to take mana. So I think if I'm taking this Thought Seize... Alternatively, I can just take the Death Shadow. Hit them to 10. Next turn, Fetch Shock is, puts me to 7. Thought Seize puts me to 5. Makes this eight. Yeah, so that's lethal. So we're going to go like this. We're just going to attack. 
Draw Shadow Go. Yeah. Yeah, it took me a took me a second. This is this is like this is uh, this this whole league here or this whole stream as long as I play the Legacy Shadow is is not apt to be super tight. Like we're probably gonna make some mistakes here. So this is their hands: Dark Ritual, Duress, Rite of Flame, Lion's Eye Diamond. Teach you about legacy. So that's what they drew, right? Drew polluted delta. Yeah, so we got. Because Fetch Shock, six. Thoughts, he's eight. Good night, Irene. We still have another land. Yeah, I definitely would have got there on the Lion's Eye Diamond, but I don't, or taking the Shadow first, but I don't have the, uh, I don't really have the instincts. And it wouldn't have even mattered taking the Lion's Eye Diamond, because they could just naturally empty their hand. Maybe, maybe we'll do that. I don't know how long, like, I will likely play this deck at the SEG in Baltimore. And I'm, I don't know exactly when that is. Let me get some more water and think about my sideboards. Give me a second. I guess it is the same as taking Black Lotus. <sighs> so I don't think, I think after playing that match, I don't think we want this spell bomb. And I guess like they have three tutors and three empties, and then they have three of the other tutors. Should have taken a picture before I extracted everything. I think we just board the same. We're good. And they get Piff out of the board, right? So that seems kind of loose. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Let's run it back. The surgical is nice to see how they sideboarded. I mean, they might just, like, YOLO it. Um, or you might just wing it and like sideboard in some other creatures now. All right, so this is just like thought sees them on one, or I guess maybe we can cycle street right now. I think I can keep this hand. Yeah, my uh, when I was at the team event. My teammate played uh my cards are brain, so that makes sense. Um my teammate played Tez, I played Ant, and it was pretty good. I'm gonna keep this. I could be convinced this is bad, but You're less worried about turn one. Okay. All right, so that's pretty sweet. So let's go fetch shot first. I think it's marginal. I guess this makes brainstorm a little worse, but we're not brainstorming for the next couple turns. The Death Shadow is actually kind of a sick draw there. Whoa. Hold the phone. 
So that was a pretty sick. Those are those are two really good draws. So they're easy brainstorming now. So this is gonna be interesting. We honestly might just play this whole league out even if we lose this one instead of going back to cash. Like I'm not necessarily looking to get worked playing Legacy. And I likely am going to get worked to start at least. So now I gotta think about what's on top of their deck too. I feel like, okay. This just like can't, this has got to mean I'm in a lot of trouble, right? So let's think. Well, then let's pull this up. So, like, my, my thought here with how they did this makes me think they have another Infernal Tutor on top of their deck. So, they have another Infernal Tutor at least in the top two cards. So, I don't really want to take the Tutor. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. So, what I think here is there's no way that they can make red mana unless they fetch into it. So, that means the second card, they might not want the second card. So I'm tempted to either take the Ponder or the Dark Ritual. And I think I want to take the Dark Ritual because I just don't want them to go off this turn so that we can him them next turn. So that's my thought. My thought process is the Dark Ritual. Because if there's another Tutor on top of their deck, they actually are going to have a really hard time killing me because they're going to have to like have enough mana to tutor, tutor, then to tutor for a card, then tutor again. They could go like... Ponder. They could like play Chromox, Hide Ponder. No, they would just go like Bloodstain Mire, Reveal, Bloodstain Mire, Blade Tutor, Reveal Tutor, Reveal Dark Ritual. Go get another Dark Ritual, but then they can't cast Ponder. So I think I'm just going to take a Ritual. Yeah, we just totally get worked here if they if they just like mind game us here. I guess I shouldn't auto yield. So that's good for the home team. He chose not to shuffle. So what are they what are they getting rid of here? They ditched their tutors. They definitely had another tutor on top. So I'm glad we sniffed that out. Dark ritual. Okay. How many is this? This is eight. Sad. So, for future references, spot we'd force a will that dark ritual or days it. So, I guess now we're just digging for engineered explosives. Because I can't, like, 
I don't really think there's very much we can do here. Put on the bottom, put on the bottom. Okay. Went off on two through a thought seeds. What a beating. What a beating. What an absolute ass kicking this is. Yes. I can see that for sure. So we've got like one draw basically at this. I think we've got one draw. We got plenty of redraws, but like the redraws don't do a lot. So then either way, it was still right to take the ritual. Right of flame into tendrils me. Put me a one. Or just get another burning wish. Okay. I guess let's get some thought seize. I guess if they have a thought seize. No, nope, great shot. Got it. All right. Good night, Irene. Ooh, what a beating. What a beating. I actually think I'm going to get another league because I enjoy playing Magic more when there's something on the line at least. But we did that. We did certainly did get work there. Let me look here. Yeah, let's just do another one. I'm gonna keep it on the same YouTube video because that was fairly quick. I could have dazed. Yeah, I could have dazed one of them and then had a draw step at it. I didn't think about that. I had already like checked out of it. So I just built this deck. That's kind of cool.